Right, today I'm working on a 2013 Hyundai Elantra. Um, basically, customer complaint: car would um, randomly stall. It would take about like almost like 10 seconds for it to start, and so forth. And then the car would stall out when um, at coming to a stop or waiting at a stoplight. Uh huh. And um, so forth. Um, and then one of the so that's one of the few symptoms. And then basically. Um, the car would be a little bit hesitant uh, when accelerating. It, it would just, it would run very poorly. Um, and it would just kind of like shake, like almost like a misfire. Um, it feels like almost like the fuel pump is going out too, but we're not in that sense of case, but it could possibly be just depending on your code. Um, right now we have a code for P0335. It's the crank, posi crank position circuit. It's nothing wrong with this, the electrical circuit. That's all tested. We already know that's not the issue. Uh, we got our, our voltage and everything. Now, our issue is actually going to be the sensor itself. Now, do not buy the sensor from an auto parts store like AutoZone, O'Reilly's and all that. I would recommend to get the sensor from the dealership. Just because this is more sensitive on that sense. Um, part number is going to be 391802Bravo000. That's the crankshaft part number or... I think it might have like an H in front of it. So right there. So a little part number. Um, so forth. Uh, basically, all you're going to really need is just a 10 millimeter and just to lift up the car. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can access it from up here, but it'll be a really, really tight fit. So I'm going to show you how to do this from under the vehicle. I have some ramps. I can just drive it up and then do it from there. I will show how to jack it up um, just in case, but you want to do it on the driver's side from jacking it up because that what you want. We're going to be on the motor side. Um, if you haven't already, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions and hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And we're going to go ahead and start this video right after the intro. All right, so coming up under the vehicle, like I said, I have ramps and um, basically you can jack it up from the subframe. This bar right here that's connected to your lower control arms, that is your subframe. So this whole black piece is your subframe and you can lift it up from there. Um, usually you can lift it up from right there where those bolts are at. And then right there where you see that little hole, I mean, you can lift it up from there. And then same thing where that little beam, see where my finger's at? Not over there, not over there, right there. So, right there. Just want to make sure you guys see this. Right there, that where that little rubber piece is at. Let me point my finger at it so you can see this piece. You can lift it up from here, but I would prefer to lift it up right here at this bolt. Um, and if you can lift it up from right here, that will be even better and so forth. So coming right up under here, right above where your oil filter is, we're gonna go ahead and see, we see our starter right there. And then right here, this wire, whoops, sorry. This wire right here, this is our crank position sensor wire, the one that goes into the block. So we have one 10 millimeter holding in that sensor. So you see that? We're gonna take off that little 10 millimeter bolt. Now I'm gonna try to record this to the best of my abilities, but obviously just because of the tight space we have, it's gonna be pretty hard. So, all right, so we got that 10 millimeter bolt off. Now, when taking off the sensor, oh man, the Bermuda to try and go, well, I'll worry about that. Um, oil might come out of here, oil might not, I don't know. So let me spin this, you wanna spin this free. We won't pull this right out. Like I said, oil might come out. All right, so no oil came out. Usually you wanna check the sensor, see if there's any metal debris, cause sometimes that could cause it. Um, and if you do see a whole bunch of metal debris, then your engine's going on its way. All right, so next thing what we need to go ahead and do is we need to pop this off its clip. And right here, I'm gonna use a pick and I'm gonna use a little angle clip right here. We're just gonna pop this guy right off its little connector. Now I'm going to try to do this while recording in that position. So 
So I'm just gonna push up on the little tab, pull back, and then just spin it right up on out and just push up. I don't really care about this connector, a harness, and then um, I think we'll go up on top and, and finish the rest. All right, so coming right up here where the radiator cap is and where the intake manifold, we are gonna go right here. And you see where those two connectors are? Get that zoomed in. So this is the one with the red and green, this guy right here, we have on the back side of it. We should be able to pull, let's see. I'm just gonna go on the bottom of this and just unclip it. Let me get my hand up in here with this tight space. Or no, it should just pull right up on out. Well, there's actually a little tab, but Just where the camera's at. That's what makes it so hard. She's in class, baby. We'll call her in a, in a couple minutes, okay? All right, so let me go ahead and see if I can do this. Like I said, it's just pretty hard with getting my hand with the camera. All right, so I got that one out the way. And then basically, I think there's like a little spot where I can stick a pick in there. All right, so right down below on the actual connector itself, I'm just gonna bend this tab down a little bit, just guys, so you can see. And you're gonna need a little pick for this. Let me get this zoomed in so you guys can see. Whoops. So, I'm going to pull this down a little bit more. I just want to make sure. Again, it's really hard to show where I'm at. So, okay, so perfect. So, right there. Let's focus. All right, so right there. So, you see that little hole on that connect there? What you're going to do is you're going to put your pick in there. And then we're just, right there, we're just going to push down. And then this guy should be able to come on right out. There might be some dirt, some Joe dirt. All right, so we got that out. And then we'll, uh, just like that, we'll push that out the way, drop that down there. And now we're ready to go ahead and reverse the order. So we need some oil. And I'm just gonna take off my oil cap, or you can even do your dipstick. I just literally want. A little bit of oil. You said lip gloss. Did I say lip gloss? Yeah. What's to say oil cap? Uh, if not, we just get some. Uh... Okay, hold on. Give me a second, bro. You're killing me, small. You're killing me. <coughs> that dipstick is broken. Oh my god. Hey, hey, hey! Watch your hand, or they're gonna get chopped. You wanna lose your fingers today? No. Okay. Look at daddy. See, that means you're going to get your hands chopped. Put them in the engine. Um, so you're going to go ahead and lubricate this O-ring. I'm going to put some dielectric grease just because, or I'll just grab it from the sensor. So I'll just grab a little bit of oil coming from right here. And I'll just put it on the O-ring. Now we want to put that on the O-ring. Oh, and then you see right here, this is a perfect example. You need to make sure that your old O-ring comes off. So... If I look right up in there, there's our old O-ring. And man, we would have had an issue. So, let's get our pick. Let me move out this harness. So we're just going to stick that in there. And I mean, this is a great example well, I always double check everything and so forth. 
All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put in our sensor. All right, so when installing our sensor, let's just, we're gonna go ahead and just push it in there. And now when it's about to bottom out, you wanna twist it in there. All right, so we got that in there. All right, so you should torque that bolt to about like maybe about five foot pounds. Um, this should be a good right there. And then now we're gonna go ahead and slide our little connector right through here between this little bracket and that harness. Let's push that up. And then let's twist this guy right around. And we'll just clip that right in there. All right, so pretty ideal. Now we're gonna go from up top. All right, so we're gonna reach down. I'm gonna grab my connector. So we have it right here. And I mean, pretty much if I want, I could just connect this right now. Oops, it's on the other side. And then we're gonna go ahead and just slide this guy right in our little bracket. And then we'll just bend that back into place like nothing ever happened. All right, so now at this point, if you do have the check engine light, which you can do, um, we gotta go ahead and clear the code. So I'm gonna go, oops. So we're gonna go ahead and clear the code, turn off everything here. All right, so we went ahead and cleared everything. Let me double check. Let me turn off this light. All right, so no pending codes, no stored codes. So we're gonna go ahead and start it. And voila. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. You're gonna double check to see if you have any pending codes. And I mean, the car already um, starts up pretty good. Now this was an intermittent problem. As you can see, um, we have a permanent code and we need to drive the car around. Um, we need to pass the monitors for that um, crank position sensor, but as you can see, we are golden. Um, yeah, I mean, if this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions and hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos in the future. And thanks for watching.